This rat hole is the most popular hidden base location in Ark Survival Ascended, simply because there's only one map. My goal for this wipe was to claim and survive in it, but little did I know, doing so was going to be one of the hardest challenges I had ever undertaken. The story that I am about to tell you is not just one filled with willpower, grit, determination to never give up, but will show you what it is truly like to play on one of the most popular servers in ARK. As per my wipe day routine, it all begins with a no trend, and just my luck, there was some buster on the server who thought he was slick. Regardless, I continued my Notran and was able to reach level 80. It's not bad and it's something I can work off of. Thereafter, I killed a parasol for hide so that I could make a saddle. Now, the saddle wasn't for the parasol, of course, it was for a PT that I tamed. Now, I didn't care what level it was, I just needed it to get me to the base spot as soon as possible. Upon my arrival at this base spot, I was happy to find that it was unclaimed. So, I gathered some resources to set up the base. Shortly after, I even found a drop with a red ring around it, giving me weapons that I could defend myself with. This will not only give me a higher chance of successfully claiming this base location, but also to farm resources. During this farming expedition, I had come across a trapped snow owl, and this in turn had led me to a base hidden inside the bushes. I started smacking away, but as soon as I did, I was the one getting smacked. The owner of the base had bowled my PT. Unfortunately, I was stuck underneath, and for whatever reason, couldn't remove the bowler. He broke my armor, but eventually, I was able to get out. Now I was willing to take this fight. He was in hide, but with the gear I had, it was sort of even, you know, missing most of it. Unfortunately, I did run out of bowlers. And next up was my PT on the chopping block. I had no option but to run. The thing is, knowing I had to run all the way back to my base, as I was all the way out in Timbuktu, annoyed the living hell out of me. And I'm one stubborn son of a gun. So I crafted armor and bowlers to make an attempt to ruin this guy's wipe. I ran over and saw his PT. I thought this was my chance to take his only flyer out. But once again, he, he appeared out of nowhere, out of the blue. Regardless, it's just like I said, I wasn't leaving without ruining this man's wife. I had him bowling, but somehow, somehow, there was another player coming to his rescue. Although they were two, I still managed to cause some damage. But with three pistol bullets left, I had to return back home. Making my way back home, after that disaster of a fight, I had come across another PT. I tried install to injury, whilst taming this PT, my base, with whatever loot I had left to my name, was getting raided. By the time I got back, he was long gone, and whilst looking through the remains, could hear his PT and him coming back to take whatever was left. In my frustration, I decided to chase the guy not realizing that with the gear I had, I was in no way, shape or form ready for this fight. He managed to pick me, but once we got to the ground, I bowled his PT. Only now realizing I needed to escape, it was far too late, as he had bowled me. So I bowled him back. While we take a look at his gear and mine, 
he was always going to come out on top. Once again, just when I had started this wipe, I was at rock freaking bikini bottom. Now come on, you guys know me. Roll that rocky montage, we never give up. I tamed another PT and even got a little starter base behind this waterfall. With that taken care of, I went ahead to see if the player had cleared my foundations out of that rat hole. To my surprise, he didn't. So I put down even more. You see, this rat hole, one way or another, was going to be mine. I just needed some time. Once this was taken care of, I farmed some resources to make grenades. I needed resources and I needed them fast. So what better way to do what others had done to me? A raid. Once I got in, I had a gander at the loot. The player, it was decent. The smithy, well, it didn't have much. But the forges, I mean, they had 250 cooked metal, which was exactly what I needed. With these resources, I crafted up a fabricator, a turret, and some bullets to defend my rattle. I picked up all of the structures and headed over Once again, I was right back on track and could now even make some C4 to raid a cave base I had come across. The cave had so many tames and I was excited to see the loot that it had. The player, he had some okay loot. But the rest wasn't very promising. Nevertheless, I stored the loot in my rat hole and went ahead to tame an RG, as this would help me farm even more resources to upgrade my base. On this mission to tame an RG, I came across another that already had heavy turrets. And coming out of this base was a player on a PT. Of course, with my past, I didn't take this fight as it was very close to his turrets. So I went to tame an RG, not knowing that he was on his own mission to my base. And with only one turret, it was there for the taking. After taming the RG, I headed back over to my base. Remember at this point, I had no idea that I had been raided. And upon my arrival, saw the player. I picked him up in the hopes that my turret would shoot him, but of course, there wasn't any turret. I caught a glimpse of his level, 104. I knew it had to have been the guy with the heavy turret base. I wanted all of my loot back and was able to bowl him. I also killed his PT so that he had no escape, but he had bowl in mine. And in my attempt to bowl him before running away, he jumped down, and with my whole wipe on him, I had to chase after. For some reason, I couldn't access my PST, because it was stuck. I decided I had to find him on foot. I saw that I still had my other PT from the very first fight I had outside my rattle. Turns out, it had been up there this entire time. I got on my PT, and instantly rushed in the direction of his base. But seeing all the trees, bushes, and rivers lowered my hopes of ever getting my loot back and I wouldn't accept defeat. Looking for this player, I had heard a whistle. My hopes shot up. I thought to myself, surely it couldn't be him. I mean, I killed his PT, but with only one C4, I had no other choice but to follow this whistle. I landed and found out where it was coming from. It was a stone base and I could even hear a fabricator inside. This was my chance to get back everything that I had lost. Sneaking up to the base, I hid behind a tree and saw one of the doors of the base open. The player had hopped onto his PT and I knew there was no time to plan my attack. There was only action. The other PT left and I'm not even sure if who took that PT saw me as I was standing right next to it. 
confused, feeling on the edge. After they left, I blew into the base. It was go time. I instantly started breaking the structures. The very first one I broke was the mortar and pestle, which had some okay resources. I used the PT to launch myself to the top floor, finding a way to access both fabricators. The first had nothing, which really killed my hopes for this base. And whilst breaking the second one, the same player of this tribe, FC, which I was currently raiding, had killed my PT in my rat hole. I really didn't care, as whilst they were busy taking out my PT, I was getting the entire base in exchange for it. I broke the second fabricator, and inside of it were thousands of resources, crystal, polymer, oil, metal, cement paste, you name it, the whole nine. I scavenged the remains of this base, and just as I wanted to leave, I heard a PT landing. It was FC, but before he knew it, I was gone like the wind. All he could do was sit and watch. That fool. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> finally I could catch my breath. I took a second to look at the loot that I had in my inventory, but as soon as I did, hurt someone on a PT. I turned and he tried to pick me. Everywhere I went, I was getting targeted. With all of this loot, I wasn't risking it in some silly fight, but instead, rather looked for a base spot to live in. I checked the rat hole that I raided, and the structures were still there. I checked this volcano mountain, but there was no base spot for me. I even checked the snow and almost lost my entire wipe to turrets. So I decided to take a step back and just build in this cave. Yes, it was in the open, but on a capped server like this, it was not going to make a difference. I first set my base at the bottom floor, but then decided to make a platform at the top of the cave so I was even harder to raid. I placed all my structures and some defenses. Shortly after, I tamed an Anki so that I could put the resources I got with the Anki into the chemistry bench, crafting spark powder and gunpowder which would allow me to reach my next goal efficiently. Level 100, allowing me to make heavy tugs. I arrived at the base and made the chemistry bench and some forges. <laughs> I was so rich in metal that I only crafted the forges after crafting the chemistry bench. I then used the Anki and my Arju to farm some stone and flint. Using these resources to craft a ton of spark powder and gunpowder which would allow me to get heavy talents. Using this method, I was eventually able to get to my goal of level 100. I immediately crafted up heavy turrets, and putting these defenses down was game changing, as I could no longer be raided by some freak rocket runners. I added extra forges at the bottom floor to get me even more metal. In doing so, I went ahead to farm some wood for these forges. I'd heard someone whistle the dino. I looked around and saw nothing. The only other place this whistle could have come from was a crack in the mountain that led to a rattle. I checked the rattle and I saw a PT. This had to be the dino that the player had whistled. the PT but still in doing so there was no sign of the player. I checked deep in the rat hole and saw nothing. The only other place this player could have been was in this one by one. He must have logged off and hid there. I went back home to make C4 and while I was here at base filled the turrets with even more bullets. Upon returning to the one by one, I blew him. When I heard the sound of a player dying, I knew I was in for some loot. This was uh, more of a supply drop than anything. 
The next task on my mind was the Doid. It would allow me to get more stone. But on this quest to tame this Doid, I ran into some turrets. I turned with the Argy trying to get my loot, but those turrets gave me my answer. Now with no flyer, I had to run to my Argy on foot. But on my way to the Argy, I heard turrets shooting. And those turrets were mine. The timing couldn't have been any more worse. I got my Argy and upon arriving by my base, found a trike by the entrance of my cave. I also found another two dead trikes. Where were these trikes coming from you may ask? It was coming from the cave nearby that I had raided. The owner of that tribe was Bobeta who had now logged on and didn't at all seem happy at the fact that I had raided him. Not long after I got in my hands on Bobeta, I realized I should have killed his dinos while I had the chance. Nevertheless, it was a relief knowing it was just Bobeta causing my turrets to shoot and not some elf tribe. The only thing really bothering me during all of this chaos was one of the bodies that I had checked. The player went by the name of Love, who had three heavy turrets. With someone carrying this type of loot, knowing where my base was, I knew I had to fortify my base. And whilst doing so, heard someone moving with Black outside. It was Love. He was coming back for his body. I knew it wasn't too long until he'd show his face around here again. I carried on further upgrading my base and went to look for a doid. But while searching for a doid, someone had tried to pick me with a PT. With my Argy being the only flyer, I tried to escape. But that's when I saw that there was two of them. He picked me and after landing, I bolted his PT so I could run away. I'd been running for a while now, but somehow he spotted me in the swamp. And when he picked me, I somehow ended up here. I took advantage of this and saw it as an opportunity to kill his PT. However, not long after, he'd catch me again. I bowled his PT and eventually him. As much as I wanted to take him out, I had to deal with his teammate first. He then bowled me and within 3 shots, had killed me. I went back on foot to get my RG, but I was too far away for the RG to even hear my whistle. So now I was forced to take a PT. After taming the PT, I immediately went to fetch my Argy, and then went on a farm run with the Anki, as taming a Doid had always led to my dismay. After transferring the resources to the chemistry bench, I'd come across a base that had all bags around it. It was my lucky day. Someone had done all the dirty work for me, and it was now my chance to scavenge. In the forges, there weren't much, but then I found some cryos. The next bag was flak, and weapons as well in the player's body. But the bag after was filled with resources that I needed. I went ahead to check the dead dinos, the Doid had had stone, the resource I was looking for. And in the final player's body was an extremely good set of gear that would come in handy for me. I immediately went back to base, depositing all of the loot. I also made some C4 in the hopes that the turrets from this base had ARB bullets. But after blowing up one, it seemed like they didn't have it. I came back to base and used the resources to further upgrade mine, placing extra foundations and forges to only further speed up my progression. Of course, this didn't come cheap so I went on a farm run. 
during this farm run, I had also found another player farming. I thought I could speed up my progression even more by stealing his farm. Unfortunately, my PT wasn't exactly doing the most damage, so I brought out my sniper. I managed to break his chest piece, but couldn't take him out. He then picked me, and in an attempt to escape using my grapples, hit the ground with only half health left. I didn't want to take this fight anymore, especially with the farm I had on me. Returning back home, I began picking up all of my structures and transferring it over to the rattle. Having more heavies than I could have ever asked for, I was finally ready to call it a night. Oh, with how late it was, morning. When I logged on, I was happy to find that I was not raided. Instead, what I did find outside my base were the dead dinos of other players who had failed to offline raid me. I had finally accomplished my goal of claiming and surviving in this popular rat hole. It didn't matter how many adversities, how many challenges were thrown my way. When it comes to Ark, when it comes to real life. It is only through these adversities that when we push through, we become a stronger and much better version of ourselves than when we entered. Thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy, then make sure to check out this video.